Hey, what's up guys? Tobin here, 5M Family Homestead Channel. Today we are going to, well, today we're just doing stuff around the shop. This is our last batch of heads for the 2020-2021 season. Um, we'll probably have a few stragglers coming in uh, and we'll be just sticking those in the freezer until we get enough to do a, you know, a good batch. I don't like to do less than, you know, six or eight if I don't have to. Uh, it's just, I'm gonna have all this stuff out and be doing it. It's just easier to do that many. So we'll just keep piling them up, the little stragglers that come in, and then we'll probably do another batch here in a few months. So, but today I want to show y'all something right off the bat. Uh, I've shown it in another video, got some questions about it. I've showed it on my Skull Mount Taxidermy Facebook group. If you're not a part of that, go search it and join it. Make sure you answer all the questions and I'll prove you. And uh, there's getting close to 3,000 people in that group. A lot of good information, a lot of good people in there. So, but I want to show you all this. It, it's taken me eight, I've been doing this for eight or 10 years. So it's taken me that long uh, to figure this out. Um, and the more heads we're doing, uh, the harder it's gotten, and this one thing I figured out has made it so much easier. So let me show, the, turn the camera around. I'll show you what it is, and then we've got. I got a head down here in the floor that I'm going to skin and show y'all how it works. And uh, it, it, you can get this at your local hardware store for a few bucks. And if you're doing a lot of, if you're only doing a few heads, it's probably not necessary. But if you're doing multiple heads, you know, 50 to 100 a year or something like that, this will definitely benefit you. So let's turn the camera around and show you. What it is and then we'll show you it in action so all this is is i think it's a three inch um it's a u uh, i don't know what you call that a u-bolt i guess y'all tell me in the comments i'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called I, I bought it at uh tractor supply and on the bottom side it has a metal strap and then it just has the bolts and I have lock washers on there. And what that does, I use that for, is to take the jaws off of the heads before we bowl them. Um, I, I don't know how far it is from right here. I just, I took actually, literally took a deer head and stuck it here and used that as a measurement. So let me get this head out and we'll show you this thing in action. All right guys, this is the last deer head of the 20, 20, 2021 season, like I said, except for a few stragglers. And I say this to show y'all uh, how to use this. I call it the jawbreaker. I don't know, you can call it whatever you want to. You don't have to call it anything. Um, but if you've ever removed the lower jaw off of a deer before you do a European mount on it, um, the only way to really do it is to cut on it forever or to cut on it a little bit and then pull it apart with your hands. And it's, um, you know, if you're doing 20, 30, at the peak of our season, that's how many we were doing, and uh, it, it, it can wear on your arms and shoulders and stuff. So I came up with this idea. I've, I've redesigned it a few times. I think I got it down pretty close to how I want to keep it for good. Uh, so let's show you how it works. said uh, I didn't measure this I just put a head up there um, all you gotta do is make it far enough off the edge of the table where the front teeth can fit underneath that u-bolt and once you got that you're good basically all we're gonna do is just put constant pressure backwards and just open the mouth all the way up Guys, I hope that video showed how well this works. Um, 
I was videoing myself. My beautiful wife showed up about halfway through and I just kept going by myself. But um, go to Home Depot, Tractor Supply, get you, I think it's a three inch U-bolt. Make sure you get the little metal strip that goes across it and put that underneath the table with some lock washers. And also put some on the top side. There's a nut on here to keep it and all that does is keeps it in place so it doesn't move up and down. Um, just kind of pinches it against the, the tabletop. And I just put it on a kind of off, um, on the part of my workbench that's kind of off to the side so it's you know not in the way uh, when I'm doing other stuff. And like I said, if y'all if you're doing one or two, it, it might be a little bit overkill, but when you're doing you know a couple hundred each year, it saves uh, a lot of time, first of all, um, a lot of cutting. And, and prying by hand and then a lot of just manpower with your hands so hope that helps y'all uh, if y'all like it uh, please leave me a comment uh, hit that thumbs up button I'm gonna take y'all out here in a minute and kind of show y'all what we got going on around the shop like I said it's the last uh, last hurrah before the season's over and we're very excited about that we're actually taking our kids tonight to go eat dinner and go bowling and go uh, play some arcade games to kind of celebrate um, the season being over so but uh Take the camera outside and around the shop, kind of show y'all where we're at, what's going on, maybe talk about some plans for next season and all that. So, so guys, one of the things, the sun finally came out, so I need my glasses. One of the things that we have to work on today is a Neil guy. Um, pretty common in Texas. I'm losing my light. They're pretty common in Texas. I know probably other parts of the United States, people may not even have ever heard of one. Um, but they're a big animal. I mean, they, they get almost the size of a horse, I believe. Um, they have real short horns on them, not antlers, horns. There's one guy on my video who was bothered by me not distinguishing between horns and antlers when I was referring to animals. Deer have antlers. Uh, cows have horns. Antelope have horns. But as a general term, sometimes I call them, I, I flip-flop them, but I digress. That Neil guy, I actually skinned it about two weeks ago. It's been sitting in a, in a tub of water. Um, and I, I highly recommend if you don't have time to get to an animal, but you wanna go ahead and skin it, to skin it and put it in water. Um, it does nothing but help the process, speed things up, pull some of the blood, the grease out of the, of the head, and it doesn't do any. It's much better than skinning it and leaving it out, and uh, much better than skinning it and putting it in the freezer. So, uh, I've had it in this pot boiling now, simmering boiling for a good 30 minutes. I'm gonna pull it out, get the horns off of it, and I'm gonna go back into the pot with some more water, fresh water, and some soap to get it uh, started degreasing. like butter.
Guys, I am done for the day. As you may have saw in some of the footage, my son Reed came out and helped me. He power washed and helped out for a little bit. He's uh, got tired and went inside. Um, I've been out here most of the day. Um, we got pretty much everything finished up. A few little things to do uh, tomorrow or later this week to get um, completely done. And then most of those heads are for our customers. I'll be calling those customers this week and getting those picked up. And uh, after that, we're going to be cleaning up the shop and uh, finishing doing some uh, putting barn wood on where I didn't get done before the season started and uh, doing stuff like that and uh, all that kind of stuff. So I've uh, got a feeder pig to go pick up tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, gonna get some more chickens. We've lost some chickens here lately, so you'll be seeing a lot more of that if you stay tuned. But guys, I hope the jawbreaker over there uh, helps y'all. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if y'all try it and uh, and how it works for you. Um, said it'll definitely save you some time and uh, some uh, some elbow grease if you're uh, doing a few few skulls. So hope that helps. Uh, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see y'all again.